line multiplication method we represent numbers with lines. Three parallel lines for number three and five parallel lines for number five, but this time in a different direction. Now the product is given by the number of the intersection points, the points that the blue and red lines have in common, and in this case we have 15 of them. Let's see what happens where bigger numbers are involved. Now for number 23 we have two lines for the tens and three lines for the ones, and just three lines for the single digit number we multiply by. Here we have two groups of intersection points, nine points for the right group, and 6 points for the left, so the product is 69. Now that we know how to represent numbers with lines, remember, when multiplying two double digit numbers or bigger, slightly tilt the line pattern like this, as it will be easier to get the digits of the product in the right order. Working our way from the right to the left, we've got 4 intersection points in the right column, another 5 intersection points in the middle column, and only 1 in the left column. Hence, the product, or 14 and 11 is 154. This example is slightly more challenging as the number of the dots in a column will be more than 10. Let's have a look. Again, working in columns, we have 4 intersection points here. Moving on to the next column, we find that it has a total of 11 points, while the leftmost column has 6. Just like we do in normal addition, the 10th digit must be carried over to the next column and added to number 6, hence the product of 34 and 21 is 714. Let's see now how our familiar multiplication algorithm compares to the line method we learned step by step. Starting with 2 times 4, meaning that we focus on this particular area on the grid, we count 8 intersection points and we write it in the result. Moving on to the next pair of numbers, 1 times 4 equals 4, and then 3 times 4 which is equal to 12. And now, 2 times 3 equals 6, but we make sure we write it in the same column that 3 is. Up next, we have 3 times 1 equals 3, and then 3 times 3 which is equal to 9. Similarly, 1 times 2 equals 2, and once again, make sure it's in the same column that 1 is. Here's 1 times 1 equals 1, and last but not least, 3 times 1 equals 3. Time to work out the sum of these three numbers. Here we have 8 dots, which is the sum of the numbers in this column. But here we have 10 dots, and just as we do in addition with regrouping, we write down 0 and we carry that one over to the next column on the left, from which instead of 17 we get 18. We write down 8 in the result, and then again we carry that one over to the next column, from which we get 11. The ones go directly to the result line, while the tens digit will be used for the last sum just like we did before. So no matter what method you fancy, as long as you do it correctly, 312 times 134 will always be 41,808. This method works for any digits in a given number including 0, so if this number 3 was 0 instead, then we would have to ignore the 0 lines along with their intersection points. Bear in mind that, for your convenience, you can use just one line for zero if you wish. Now we count and write the number of the dots in the result just as we did previously. But as we said, we only take into account the dots from the non-zero lines. This is also the case with the hundreds column, in which case we count 12 plus 2 that is 14 points altogether. We write down 4, and then again 1 will be carried over to the next column, and so on. So the product of 312 and 104 is 32,448.